In this video, we're going to go over the basics of KCL. So first off, what is KCL? KCL is a scripting language that we created here at Zoo to describe CAD geometries. KCL is really robust and it comes with a lot of features, a lot of tools at your disposal to describe your CAD geometries. And everything that I describe in this video, mind you, comes from someone who has more experience in hardware design and mechanical engineering than software. But in a way, that's a great thing because I can kind of show you the difference of traditional CAD software as compared to KCL and why KCL is so beneficial. So first, let's open up the KCL code pane and get started. First thing I always do when I get into a new project is set the units. You can also set them right here where it will generate this line for you. This is our annotation at settings, default length unit equals inches. So now all numeric values after this line will be in inches. So let's go ahead and do a sketch so I can describe some of the important nuances to sketches and um, things to be aware of. So let's do, let's say example sketch equals start sketch on. This is one of our functions, x, y, meaning that I want to sketch on the x, y plane. And then we're going to do a pipe. And so a pipe pretty much just says, hey, we're going to stay in the same sketch. And with every pipe, we typically need another um, parameter or another um, important piece, which is this percentage symbol. So let me do start profile, which is if you were to imagine drawing a square, for example, where do you put the pen first? So we're going to start the profile, let's say at zero, zero, and notice this percentage symbol. So what this is, is it's essentially saying, hey, I want to pass in that same sketch. So every time I pass in, so pipe and pass in that percentage, it's saying I want to stay in the same sketch. So I could also do this and break it out. I could not do it in a pipe, but I would just have to pass in the sketch, example sketch. I'll give an example of that afterwards. So let's do a X line, for example, of length 10. And notice that that percentage symbol is coming with us every time. 10, let's do X line again, negative 10. And finally, let's close it off. For a much better in-depth look at these KCL functions, like X line, Y line, start profile, uh, refer to the KCL docs, as well as some of our other videos. Now notice that I passed in this percentage every single time, and I could even do a 3D uh, 3D function like extrude, say 10, pass it in, or I could break it out. So this is what I was talking about earlier, and I could do this with any one of the lines above as well, where I could say uh, example extrude equals extrude, and then now I have to pass in examples not that example sketch, and this will work the exact same. So the percentage symbol just means I want to pass in the sketch each time, just to say I want to stay in the sketch. Now that we know some of those fundamentals, those basics, let's start looking at some of the other stuff I wrote. So I'm going to comment this out, show you variables. So there's multiple different types of variables that are supported. In KCL, you can see numeric values. I made an array here and an object here. We also support Booleans. And then next, I go into my function. So instead of just straight up making a sketch and extruding it like I did above, you could throw it all into a function. This one, I call it make part. And I have three parameters, length, width, and height. I do a sketch very similarly. This is a, a rectangle. I have my length, my width, and then I have this right here is really important. This is a tag. Tags are important for some 3D features like billets and chamfers, as well as constraints when you're sketching. So this right here is saying I want the same length of the segment tag 001. So these two lines will be the exact same length. And then let's close it off. Follow it by an extrude, by length h, and then return my extrude. So now if I call this function, it makes our rectangle. And I can parameterize my CAD model by 
you know, messing with these variables and say, maybe here I want this to be, let's look at our variables, length array, and let's go to the third entry in length array. Then here, I do like this length object dot width. So it's saying, hey, I wanna grab the width of this object. And then here we'll do, that's fine. In fact, let's do the square root of square root of my length. And here is our prism. And then finally, I wanna show Booleans. So we do have if else statements as well. And I'm gonna do it with this Boolean of make square. If make square is true, it's gonna make this square on the XY plane. If it is false, it's gonna make a circle. So let's hit false. And there's our circle. And then we could extrude or revolve or sweep, whatever we want from there. Now, KCL, this is the absolute basics of KCL that I just showed. But KCL has a ton of benefits because you could have external scripts write KCL. AI is even getting better at outputting KCL. Then you can use it in external APIs and CI pipelines. It's human readable. Once you kind of get a grasp of the basic KCL syntax, it's pretty easy to follow. I still have, you know, sketches. And then, for example, like my sketches, I still have extrudes. And once you understand the syntax, it gets easy to follow. KCL also has imports. So if you have other files that you want to import into this scene, you could use import statements as well. And we have a video on imports specifically, so I encourage you to watch that. With that being said, this was the absolute basics of KCL, and thanks for watching.